are you feeling stuck in your career and are you thinking to move your career from marketing to power bi data analyst or from software engineer to power bi data analyst or are you a college fresher now and you are thinking to move your career into power bi data analyst then this video is for you so we'll cover all about the pros and cons how and what you need to approach and how you need to approach in order to get and move your career into power bi as a data analyst but before to that we'll talk about some plus and minus on that as well and even before to that i if you are new to this channel and if you haven't subscribed yet i request you to please subscribe to my channel because 90% of my viewers are not my subscriber i'm trying hard to create more beautiful useful content but it's only with your help it can reach to many people so that they can best benefit out of it so now first of all why people want to move their career if you are a college fresher then there may not be an issue because you may link you may think about what is the current market situations and then you will take a decision out of it so nowadays we have only three things which i can say which i also talked about in my previous video one is real time intelligence data visualization which is the power bi data analyst and real time intelligence that's the second one and third thing is autonomous ai agents so these three things are going to be crucial in 2025 So if you are coming from college fresher, then you can take this any of the direction. You can go with machine learning, data science, and just the software programming. And also you can also choose to data analyst here. But if you are an existing ex experienced professionals and you are not happy with the current job, so now let's understand what is the reason behind not happy with the current job. So this purely depends on person to person. It can be various situations for them. so one is they are stuck in one single place and they want to move out of into different environment different platform because they want to grow up higher into their career the current designation what they have the current uh, market trend what they have is actually not providing that much of benefit for them so that's the reason they have decided to move their career into power bi data analyst because that is basically a kind of data analysis is booming the job openings in the market right now so that's one of the reason another reason is because they are not happy with the current job and also they want to really move the career from any to any for example digital marketing to power bi data analyst or from the software development or from the call center job to power bi data analyst i'm not saying these jobs like marketing call center jobs and software engineering are bad it purely depends on the personal choice but i hope even if you take a considering about myself i was actually developing the software itself in the last 8 years before to that so i was kind of dot net programming asp dot net sql as a backend so i came from that background and then switched to power bi i also did a transitions in my career so anyway people can transition into the career at any point of time in the life so if this is your time if you want to really want to switch your career then you can but you need to follow certain process that we'll discuss now So there are five step which you need to follow in order to switch your career from any platform to power bi data analyst. So first is self assessment. So you need to assess self. So you really want to move your career to data analyst or not? So if you are, then self assess yourself. What experience do you have? If you are a college fresher, then that's a secondary part. We'll discuss about that later. But if you are an experienced professional. then if you are a marketing department then you need to check what the kind of knowledge which you have in the marketing because whatever experience you have this is really going to be helpful if you are moving your career to any other platform so you need to consider how much knowledge you have into your existing experience so that's one thing if you are marketing then you need to analyze what is the level of knowledge you have if you are a field level people you want to move your career into data analyst then you need to also observe what level of depth understanding which you have Because you can use the same and then switch into Power BI data analyst here. So the next thing here is learn the foundational skills. So first of all, you need to learn some basic thing. Without this, it's really not possible to move your career into data analyst. So one thing is Excel. That's a golden software, evergreen. So even whatever software it come up here, the ERP system and even the Power BI data analyst tool. but still business people consider using excel itself so you need to be get well aware of excel and you need to get well aware of the sql languages and because of the real time intelligence is moving now so you need to also understand about kql which i have video series on my channel and also you need to be understand about any programming languages like python or c sharp because some point of time in your career if you are really moving into that you may need to work into any applications but that is not a mandatory thing that's an added advantage for you 
so it is c sharp or python programming and then obviously power bi so you need to get well into these three things at least one is excel and then sql and sql which is and third one is power bi so you need to get well about these three skills and many of there are some of the videos available for excel on my channel very rare and sql is very few of them but power bi a lot of contents available on my channel i highly recommend you to go the series about that so that you can get more clarity on this part and the third thing here is you need to practice yourself first of all you need to get certified on that because you are switching your career from one to another then if you go for an interview uh, even though if you practice it by yourself and you have confidence about that but going in an interview and preparing a resume without the certification it's slightly degrade your i mean not degrade in the sense like it can just uh, the algorithm which the system picks up here right so it can just reduce your visibility in tracking of those things so if you have a certification that gives an added advantage so you can make use of that and then you need to practice a lot so that's the saying right practice makes a man perfect so you need to practice a lot in order to get well versed on the questions especially if you are considering the power bi then power query data modeling and then you need visualizations and dax so these are the four main pillars where you need to work extensively in order to get well versed and then give proper responses in the interviews so certification is and then the practice these are the next two things which you need to consider and the next thing here is you need to build a portfolio so this is what i highly recommend even for the college freshers and experienced professionals that they need to consider building the portfolio so building the portfolio in the sense you don't need to build any websites for you is now as this is job career so linkedin is the best platform for you so whatever you are learning on daily daily basis like in power bi so you just post your learning in the social networking linkedin if you keep on regularly doing this for the next so one or three months then it can just reach to the multiple audience and recruit those who are looking for the people they can get your highlights on to their feeding on that part so that they can get visibility of your experience and what you are actually looking into it they can get connect over the linkedin there is highly possibilities out there so i'm not saying that is the only one way but you need to get practice and then you need to showcase to the audience that's the power of social media so you need to keep on posting your regular readings understanding learnings what you are doing up in power bi sql and excel that's the three main platform you can keep for now python and c sharp that's an additional language where if you want to do then that you can do that over there and for maintaining the projects and all you can use github that's a free itself as a source file and all these things you can maintain for the link reference but posting in social media like linkedin that actually boost your visibility in the social media and the fifth point is networking this is really important thing because you need to have multiple networking with the people so that you can go with the events in person or virtual events particularly if nowadays our things are going regular normal itself back to our old normal so events or conferences are happening in person itself if you are within the city something is happening within your city then i highly recommend you to go and join that event or conference so that you can connect to the experts and also the other peer members they are also into the same interest and you can also share your experience with them connect with the people and that can help you land a new job a career into data analyst platform here so these are the main five steps which you need to take one is first of all you need to self assess yourself and the next thing is you need to learn the basic skills which is excel sql and power bi and the third thing here is you need to build your foundational skills which is certifications and all and the third thing here you need to experience by yourself i mean practice it by yourself and the fourth thing is build a portfolio publish on the social media like linkedin and the fifth thing is networking so these are the three five important factors so now if you are a college fresher and you are looking for moving your career data analyst then that's also the same process which you need to follow so the only thing which will not be you don't have any real experience you just need to have a kind of training practical theoretical experience which you can get so you can refer to multiple data set you can study case studies there are multiple case studies available on the internet you can just have a look into it and if you want to generate a data for your practice purpose then i have made a video about that with the help of chat gpt how you can generate your own data so you can leverage that video and then build your own data model by yourself and then you can practice it for your reference here that is the easy way you don't need to depend on any other people you can generate your own 
you can talk with the chat GPT, it can give you the beautiful responses and then you will get the data what you need and build the report out of it. And it can also help you to learn Power BI and build the Axe queries, data modeling, Power BI, everything. So I recommend you to use the chat GPT and build your experience in Power BI. So remember, every expert was once a beginner, right? Even if I'm sharing my experience so far, I have like eight years of experience, especially in Power BI. But still, I'm looking for some of the experts of this industry like Alberto, Ferrari, Marco Russo and Reza Rad. There are many other experts which I have. I'm not able to call everybody's name at the moment. But these are the main people, those who I look for in order to get the more experience from them. Similarly, you need to start small. You need to be consistent about that, how we need to learn. Specify at least one or two hours in a day in order to learn every day I'm talking about not just five days in a week Not just only on the weekend. It has to be every day. You need to start learning at least one hour in a week Sorry one in a day and you need to specify that time You can just learn and then post on a social media what you have learned today as the daily updates on the social media and then what you just need to spend some money in order to get the certification out of it and if you need to learn some courses there are courses available on my YouTube itself, you can just learn from that and many YouTubers have already done that, the experts, they are really amazing videos, free of course available on the YouTube, you just start with YouTube, if you are not familiar, if you are not okay with the YouTube, then you can buy the courses on Udemy or Pluralsight, any other platform and then start learning, but main important thing, you need to do social networking and also practice a lot, so these are the three key factors where you can able to generate this job in Power BI as a data analyst here. So the final note, if you are really considering to move your career in 2025, I hope this video makes helpful for you in order to move your career as a Power BI Data Analyst. And if you are really landed your job after seeing this video, tried a lot and practiced a lot by yourself, let me know in the comment section below and see you after 3 to 6 months. That's a challenge for you and those who are into the challenge, please let me know in the comment section below that you are moving your career and you are into the challenge. I will try to help you in any other way that I can support in order to move your career from any platform to Power BI as a data analyst here. So until then, see you in the next video.